It's race night, and tonight we've been called out by some other racers from the 405 that claim they're actually the fastest and not us. Well, if they really want that title, they're gonna have to beat us tonight on this road. Only four racers from the top 10 list can race tonight, me, Sean, Dave, and Chuck. They've got five racers ready to race tonight, so that means some of us are gonna have to race more than once, and I'm fine with that because all that means is more money for me. Hopefully, everybody brought some money and the fastest tune-up they got in their car for this road tonight to find out who is the fastest in the 405 on this road on this night. With these races tonight, the real 405 has to win the majority in order to claim that we're the fastest. These races are a little unusual because these guys are from the 405 as well. Usually, when you want to get on the top 10 list, you challenge the number 10 spot. But these guys are basically challenging the entire validity of the list in general. So, the only way to settle this is to grudge race. No list spots, no challenges, just money and pride on the line. I want Sean. You want Sean, right yeah. out of the gate. What's it gonna cost him, Sean? At least a thousand. Done. I get the right lane, right? I mean, we can flip for it. What? I thought when we talked earlier, you said I had the right. No, no, you never heard no. me say that. Obviously, he doesn't know me very well. I would never just give somebody the lane that they're looking for, especially on a $1,000 race. So uh, we're definitely going to have to flip for it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, it ain't no problem. I'm about <laughs> to see the lane. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that, ain't nothing to that, it, but that you never came let's out flip of my... for it and let's get You'll it You'll never hear me give somebody the lane. All right, well, that one's figured out. Who's next? I already called Chuck. That's why I came. Andrade Sr. is a legend in the 405. He used to street race with Barley back in his heyday, so for him to take on Chuck, it's going to be a great race. Mustang versus Mustang. Small tire, small tire. I'm taking that guy right there. Yeah? Me? You. Whoa! Oh. You! Whoa. Nice. Nice. Calling out the truck? They said he didn't have no You hey, see my Wow. Dang it. What's Matt's tuition going to be? I got 500 in my pocket. Done. Your mom's gonna drag cheese. Oh. Oh. oh! Now, your mom is the name of a car, not a driver. For him to name his car your mom, that thing better be stupid fast. I think Big BBC Mike has something he wants to say, but he's just not saying well, it. What's the problem? I had something to say, either you or Chuck, something like that. I'd like to run you. Okay. I'm always down for making money, so I can make two passes. It looks like Chuck and I are gonna race twice. It's a bit risky, especially considering my test pass didn't go so well. But I worked on the crow all morning. It's definitely ready to go, so we'll see what happens. We'll get y'all ready. Let's figure it out. First up is Chuck versus BBC Mike. The BBC stands for Big Block Chevy, and he wants to race Chuck and me tonight, so he must think he's got something pretty fast. You want to do 500? I'm good with 500. All right, let's do it then. All right. I'm the first race up. The fastest in this area code belong to us and the top 10 list. I'm going to take out this big tire. BBC Mike, no problem. I mean, what kind of name is BBC Mike anyway? Is he like a driver for public television? My name's Mike, and I got a 66 Chevelle, big block, big tire car, nitrous. I wanted to prove that I have what it takes to run at the 405 guys. They got their game going. It's no BS, but I think I could come in there and maybe change it up a little bit. Him. I think he went around him. Where's my walking talking? What you got down there? ABC Mike, my half a car. Yeah. 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 So Chuck and BBC Mike pull up to the line. I hit the light. And BBC Mike gets a jump on Chuck just like a big tire car ship. I took a lot of power out of the car down low. I figured I had plenty of power up top to drive around him. He puts about two links on me out of the hole. I was running him down. 
I needed 10 more foot. I ran out of real estate. Hell yeah, you got Man, it done. I tell you what, I could see <laughs> the corner of my eye coming. I didn't have enough. Yeah, I could hear it right there, and I thought, yeah. I can't let off now. First race of the night, and we're in the lost call. Chuck losing is not a good way to start, so now it's up to me to take out BBC Mike and get this thing tied up. Just hit the U, and it's momentary. Okay. If you hit anything else, it'll be all it won't work. Wow. Since I'm racing and farm trucks out of town this week, I'm leaving it up to Dave to turn on the flashlight. I don't know how long it's been, so hopefully he doesn't fall on his and get run over. Let's do it. I'll do a all thousand right. heads up. Right. Hell yeah. Good luck, brother. All right. I ain't taking him lightly. Car's fast. Let's see what happens. At this point, I'm sure BBC Mike is feeling pretty good about himself. He's already got a pass on the road, so he's got his tune working. Meanwhile, I'm still thinking about that bad test hit last night. Hopefully, I've done enough to the car to go A to B, and it's time for me to get us back in the wind calm, because if not, we'll be 0-2. Oh, Word. Chief by six. Chief by six. That's like a greyhound. Sweet. So Dave hits the light, and I take off in a big wheelie. When we took off, I looked over. I could see he was up in there, and I knew then I had a front row seat to it, and I knew then it was over. By the time my front tires hit the ground, I'm gone and I never see BBC Mike. Yeah, there ain't no, there ain't no outrunning that car right now. They got their game going. It's no BS. Down for a thousand. They got it on target right now. Thanks, bro. Good race, man. Thanks, man. We've got one in the wind column, but up next is Chuck going against racing legend Andrade Senior. Racing is in his blood, so you can't count him out. It's up to Chuck to redeem himself. 